Today, we are microfishing for whatever bites. When throwing a bait this small, you would think you'd only catch small fish, but that's just not the case. You'd be surprised at the amount of big fish you can catch on these tiny lures. Our goal today is to see how many species we can catch on these micro baits. Now let's hop into it. Starting tomorrow, the 23rd through the 30th of November, we're running a Black Friday sale. For every kick and combo you purchase, you'll receive three free packs of striking baits. Head over to kickintheirbass.com tonight at 12 a.m. Eastern Time when the sale starts. Happy Thanksgiving. All right, boys, fishing micro baits for whatever bites. Our goal today is to catch as many different species as we can. But before I go in this tackle box, I got the boy Connor out here. What's going on, man? What's up, man? What's up, man? We have a Kick in Their Bass TV X Lose combo. If you guys want to check them out, kickintheirbass.com. They'll be linked down below. And then we just have a regular loose special right here. We're really curious on how these baits are going to throw on regular spinning tackle. We didn't have any like tiny rods. Actually, we, we do have this. Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of y'all watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you could take the time, hit the subscribe button really helps the channel i'd appreciate it i actually have this little tiny dock demon that we might whip out later today to try to catch some fish on it that's just a little miniature rod that is if we're just having a hard time throwing these baits on the other rods but before we even start fishing i want to open up this little micro fishing kit that i actually just made i went to walmart bought a bunch of different baits we got a ton of different lures to choose from for this video so firstly this bait's a little bit bigger than the rest it's still considered a micro bait it's a micro plopper right here this is a nice little top water bait i think we're going to end up catching a big bass on this today so that is bait number one by far the biggest bait in the box we got some tiny little jig heads with one of the beetle spin trailers we have two of those we got a couple of these micro crankbaits this is just one that has a little bit of gray up top black stripe down the middle we have another one right here that's got blue on the top a little bit of orange and green and red below the gills that's a pretty sick color as well we got some strike king bitsy minnows and we actually have three of these we have two sexy shad ones and then we also have a chartreuse and a black stripe on the back got another one of those small crankbaits in green we have a little crawl crankbait it's like a little crawfish that's pretty cool we have two jerk baits here so this is like just a standard green color and then i also have one right here this is a sick color it's just chrome with a black back and then the last bait that we got and this is one of my favorites is the uh small little tiny lipless crankbait and that is a blue back chrome body so now that we've gone over all the baits in the box let's go ahead and pick out our baits and get to fishing all right boys let's get it started so as, as much as this hurts me because i really want to use this puppy connor you I'm, get the honors today man i'm taking it man it's you get mine. the honors <laughs> you get the honors and i'm going to be using this standard uh lose spinning combo which is still an amazing combo right here very lightweight but yeah let's go ahead and rig up and see what we're gonna work with what you thinking connor i don't know man i was about to ask you what are you thinking definitely some sort of crankbait maybe actually i don't know maybe a jerk bait man you gonna might, try a jerk bait? i might just start off with the jerk bait what do you think about something like this one of these little straight king guys oh yeah dude those things are schmexy man and boys i'm gonna go with this standard like little jerk bait it's got a little bit of chrome on the body black back today's been just a weird day it's not really sunny nor is it overcast it's just kind of it's been in the middle it's like the sun would come out here and there and then all of a sudden it'd be overcast it's just kind of random today but yeah we're gonna tie on this jerk bait that's gonna be our starting bait and hopefully these fish are gonna munch it more importantly i'm hoping we can throw these baits on these rods connor might be a little difficult but i think we'll we'll be able to figure it out yeah. i think this jerk bait's a little heavier than your crankbait but let's we'll see what happens boys by the way let's take a little test right here look at that jerk bait that just looks amazing. One more time. Oh yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that, but that just looks schmexy. That thing is definitely gonna get swiped. Let's just see if we can cast it. This one's a little heavier. Oh yeah, dude, easily, oh, Connor. That's not bad. I'm curious to see how many bites we get on these micro baits today. We've done a few micro videos in the past and you guys have loved them. And I actually had a lot of fun doing them. So if you guys wanna see some micro bait videos, let us know down below, cause we'll definitely start filming some more. And the action on this jerk bait is just, dude, this jerk bait almost has better action than the normal jerk baits I throw. It's just crazy. Oh, your casting distance is not bad on that. Oh, it's not bad at all. We just gotta remember to go a little more finesse with the small little pops. You know, it's not like we're throwing. Oh, dude, I had a, I had a bass just turn on it, man. 
That was insane. He got it right there, dude. I watched him eat it. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is sick. Already on the jerk bait. Micro lures are about to smack him, man. We should keep count, Connor, how many fish we can catch today, dude, because I think we're gonna destroy him. That's fish number one. Little jerk bait out of the side of his mouth. Look at that, baby. Yes, sir. The one thing with these micro baits, make sure you guys bring pliers with you because they're usually hard to get out. That one was easy. But first fish, not a big one by any means, but pretty fish. I saw him roll on it a second ago and then he just, he followed it in, man. He couldn't resist that chrome jerk bait, smacking him. Thank you, baby. You were just pretty, you were beautiful. You were beautiful fish. That was a weird release, but hey, we got the job done. So boys, I understand that these baits are small, but don't let them fool you, man. These big fish will still eat them. The last couple of micro videos I filmed, we ended up catching like a four plus pounder. So it's definitely possible. Don't let the size fool you now. These big fish will definitely still eat. We got a little tree right here. There should be some fish right here on the edge of it. All oh, this jerk bait just looks amazing. This water's like just so ultra clear right now that I can almost see everything that happens. Like I just happened to see that bass roll over the top of this thing and just tackle it from behind. Oh, he hammered that bait. Holy cow. They, they really can't resist it. It's gotta be just that reaction strike because they're like chasing bait up right now, but that's a good fish. There we go. Yes, sir. So Noah was talking about earlier, uh, the little tiny hooks on these things. You gotta be super careful with them because if you try to grab it with your hands, they're so tiny. That, that thing's gonna end up right in your finger. That is our first fish with the micro beats. Thank you, buddy. Look at that right there, man. Oh, this jerk bait bite is fire. It's actually a really small fish. And I wanna show you guys some on this bass. Look at him just twirling around right there. So if you guys notice, if you're comparing this bass to the first one, obviously it's smaller. This bass is still really fat, but look at the color on this fish. So there's actually a lot of grass on this little middle section of this pond. And this bass was all up in that grass. So pretty much what happens, these fish, obviously largemouth in particular love vegetation they love grass and some of these bass love them more than others and they'll actually turn a little darker when they're in the water or when they're in that grass and that's why this fish's body is just darker than the other one it's from him being up in that grass but thank you buddy i appreciate the bite that is a little one we don't want to catch many of them but uh we're gonna keep on hunting all right fish they are biting son it's been about 10 15 minutes we already got two fish that's a good little sign i tell you, we're probably gonna catch more too. I just wanna see a big and Oh, there's a boil right next to me. And one little spot, like right here, I feel like in front of those trees has just been killer for me. I'm always catching a lot of fish out from those trees. Oh, a big boil, big boil. Oh my gosh, he had it. Hold on. Come back for it. I, I actually think I stuck him. Dang, man, he boiled on that thing. I like wasn't paying attention. I'm just over here talking. Right there. Oh my gosh, they're smoking this, guys. And this water is so beautiful. I don't know if you guys see that fish fighting, but this is just a beautiful pond. Start off the video. Oh my gosh. That is sick, man. We're already on our third fish. We were smoking them. Only one species so far. We've only got us a bass, but let me tell you. We're gonna catch some other fish today. This isn't gonna be the only one. This is a really healthy fish. Beautiful colors, really fat and healthy. Wow, thank you, buddy. Thank you for biting. His teeth are really sharp. I can tell he's been eating bait. That was sick. I wonder if that was the same fish that came up and boiled on me or if that was a different one. But as much as I wanna keep throwing this, I think I'm gonna throw it just a little bit longer and then I'm probably gonna switch baits. I wanna to try to fish with every bait in that box. But man, this jerk bait's fun, man. It's hard for me to put it down. This thing is just so much fun. The colors are so good. It's a fish catching machine. All right, boys, we're gonna go a little deeper in the woods over here and see if we can find some more fish. I didn't really wanna fish on this side of the pond just because it's a steeper bank. 
So it might be a little hard for me to work the bait, but I think we can get away with it. This looks like a good little zone. Throw one off on this point. Yeah, it's hard to get my rod low to keep that bait underwater. Oh yeah. Look at that. Wait, Connor, we might have a different species, brother. Oh yeah, giant bluegill. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's a tank. Look at this bluegill, dude. <laughs> it's freaking massive on the jerk bait. Look at that thing. Look how dark it is too. How are they, how are they even that big? I don't know. That's <laughs> that is what that is a unit right there. Oh, that's a mass. Look at this. I don't think I've ever seen. I've never seen way that bigger big. than my hand. Yeah, they're freaking crazy, man. Well, dude, there we go. That is our second species of the day. Is a giant bluegill, man. Wow, that thing's beautiful. That's a crazy looking yeah. fish. This fish is super dark, but I'm telling you, it's because he's been in that grass. But I'm just gonna give him a little toss. Thank you, baby. All right, dog. Let's see what we got. We are at our second pond. This pond's got some really big fish. So we're testing out the theory, Connor. Small baits for big fish, man. So the jerk bait was just killing it for me. I got it over there. But to be honest, man, I want to spice it up. I want to go with what? the plopper, bro. Okay. The you know, micro plop. Okay. You know what I'm taking? What you get? I'm taking Noah's favorite, dude. We taking the. Oh, old, you getting the trap? The old trap you getting right the, tra the little trapperoo? We're gonna give it a run. Dude, that's gonna get smoked, bro. Just don't break her off, man. It's our only trapperoo. Yeah, we gotta be careful with this. If guy. not, we we have another one somewhere, dude. I don't know where it went. The other one grew legs and it ran <laughs> off. Yeah, We're still trying good. to find it. I'm about to say I just bought these dang things. By the way, if you guys have any micro bait uh, suggestions, let us know down below. And also like, if you guys wanna see more micro bait videos, like definitely let us know because this is fun. And I uh, hope you guys feel the same way. And these baits, man, they're just, they're, they're cool to use. And it's crazy because some of these micro baits have even better action than the big baits, which is, which is crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it is crazy to think about. And they're easy to throw too. It's not like we have to have a tiny like BFS setup or anything, you know, we're just, I mean, you know what this shows, though? We're chilling. The, the versatility of those kicking rods. Yeah, dude. the kicking rod can catch Not anything, throw anything. anything, bro. Shoot, we've caught big redfish on them things. We caught some big catfish, some big carp. I've caught some huge trees, too. <laughs> take, I take the whole tree down with that rod. That tree don't have a chance. All right, boys, let's get after it. Mini whop a plop. Dude, look at that little swirl. Hopefully, they eat top water right now. We top water fished the other day, and it was a little slow, so <laughs> I guess we'll see. This water's disgusting, man. It's got so much like green slop on it. I don't know what's going on right now. Bunch of nasty slop. Oh, there he goes. He hammered that thing. Oh, that's a good bass. Get up here, buddy. Get up here. Woo! Trying to be very careful with these hooks. I kind of bent him out really bad on that oh my gosh that is a crazy dark bass holy cow there we go guys we got one on the the chrome trap there you can tell that fish is way up in that cover it's pretty stinky too i'm not gonna lie a little stinky boy all right man tell the uh, big juicy mama to come out and eat thank you all right boys we go in deep in the rainforest yeah yeah these crevices that we have access to fish are super slim but like right here, look at this perfect little opening. Give her a little flip right there, dude. Gosh, it looks so good under these trees. See, like some of these areas I would definitely flip in. It's just not worth it because I could break this bait off and I do not want to break it off. These fish are hammering this thing. I don't know what they have down there, but it seems like they've got like a jackhammer or like a sledgehammer or something. No way, I didn't even, the bait just hit the water. No, he came off, he came off. I was just saying that these these fish are hitting it like like they're taking a sledgehammer down there and smacking the thing all right we tried the little crevices i just don't want to risk breaking this top water off because this is our only micro top water and i just have to catch some fish on it man i, I refuse not to so we're going to go back onto this other side and it's usually a good little corner that some fish stack up in oh there we go give her a second let him get enticed and warmed up for us Oh my gosh, I just got... Oh, dude, they can't, they can't resist it. Oh, there we go. That does just look like a regular bluegill. I just don't know, because that other one was super, super dark. I'm pretty sure... Actually, maybe not. He does have, like, those lateral lines. I don't know if you guys can see it, but they're very faint. Thank you, buddy. All right, boys. 
right on that bank that looks saucy so the biggest problem that i'm having with this plopper on top right now is there's so much stuff on top of the water and the biggest thing is the pine straw there's so much pine straw here <gasps> dog what was that was that a fish that was a bass dude i haven't even had one look in my top water that's insane oh i just got hammered hammered he ate it he ate it come on Dude, they hit this bait crazy hard. I'm shocked. Oh my gosh, dude. Look at the size of that thing. These things are footballs, dude. That is crazy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that thing's giant, dude. Connor is smoking the bluegill. Got to give this guy a little toss. We're kind of way up here on the hill, but thank you, dude. All right, boys. We're about to go to a different spot. I was hoping I'd get bit on this top water. Maybe we just need to go somewhere else. Could be something to do with this water too. It's just got a bunch of nasty, like green gook in it. But uh, yeah, let's just keep on moving and go to our third spot. Maybe they'll eat top water there. All right, boys, new pond, same bait. I'm gonna give it a shot for just a little bit. If it's not happening, you know, we'll put on something else, but I still wanna give it a fair shot here. What do we got here? What is this thing? Yeah, that thing looks funky. It does look a little poisonous. So I don't know if the fish are gonna like that, but. <laughs> Let's tie it on and uh, let's give this thing a shot. Oh my God, there's a fish right there. We might get a cool blow up right here. I, I literally see him there too. Oh, he's right there, dude. Oh my gosh, come on. He just swirled behind it. And throw right down that tree line right there. I don't know where that fish went. He like tailed right up behind it and I could see like a slight little wake behind me too and he just never ate it. Oh, dude, a, a big bluegill just tried to swamp it. He completely missed it, though. Hold on, I might be able to get him. Just got to kind of play it slow here. They're in a weird spot. Like, they're to the left of the pipe, and this lure is, like, extremely light. Oh, my gosh. There's a big bass. There's a big bass. That's a, that's a good, good-sized fish right there. Come on, baby. He don't want it. See, he knows it looks poisonous. He's like, I ain't touching that thing. Get out of here. They're being a little weird on the top water right now. We've had a bunch of cold weather push in, and I just feel like they're not really adapted to the weather. It's definitely not too cold by any means for them to not be biting top water. I just think it's the weather shift. They're not really used to you quite yet. It's crazy, guys, how you go from throwing a bait that they just won't leave alone, like that jerk bait they were just smoking. You put on a top water. I mean, the jerk bait was at the top of the surface, but they're just not wanting to come out of the water at all. All right, guys, I had to make the call. We are gonna try out this little jerk bait, a little more natural. This pond's like super clear. I think, uh, I think if we're gonna be bit, it's gonna be this one right here. All right, boys, just walk to the other side here. We're gonna give this top water one more shot. Corner right there. Got destroyed. Biggin, biggin, dude. Oh, no, 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 no. He's taking me in the tree. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's a nice fish, man. There's two with him. Connor, Connor, come here. You got to throw in here. You got to no, throw in here, bro. Oh, gosh, I'm just coasting him in now. He just wore himself out. He went crazy for a minute there. Oh, I got him hooked weird, so he can't even move. Oh, buddy, come here. That was only about a two pounder. I thought he was a lot bigger the way he was stripping that drag. But that's still a really good fish. Bro, he hammered it, homie. Th throw that jerk bait in that corner. There was two more with him trying to get it out of his mouth. So guys, I got a theory with this. We couldn't get a bite on this top water. And then all of a sudden, this fish hammered it. And I'll tell you what's different about this fish than every, every other fish. There was two fish with him. And I think he got a little competitive there and they just, <laughs> they went a little crazy. All right, boys, good two, two and a half pound fish. Thank you, baby. Give her a little toss there. It's hard to get down at the water at these ponds. Oh, You're oh. just, Dude, got no, 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 oh, he had it in his mouth. I don't know how you didn't hook him. Maybe the small hooks. Yeah. Dude, that's the fish I was definitely with him. I'm gonna throw this back in there. Maybe he'll eat. Yeah, throw it on top. I don't think you hooked him there, did you? No, no, no. Man, these. No. Whoa, dude. No. He chased it all the way up here. Dang, man. We just found the hot corner, bro. 
Yeah, those two were fired up, man. I don't know what they were doing in the corner over there. They might have been some cocoa. They're doing something. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What are you doing, man? Connor, he's on you. He's literally on your bait. He's on your bait, bro. Jerk it. He's literally right on your bait. I saw him. Oh, no, dude. The technical difficulties just ruined me there. Throw it back in there, dude. He was just nose down on your bait. I could see him. That was an insane eat. Oh, good one, good one. Get in here, baby. Come on now. The way these fish are eating the bait is crazy. They're they're like so aggressive. Wait till you guys see where this bait is in this fish. I mean, he swiped at it and he's got that thing all the way down there. Had to do a little micro surgery on our boy there, but look at the belly on that fish. That guy's stocking up for the winter. Thank you, buddy. All right, boys, new pond. I'm gonna throw the top water just a little bit longer. That bite got me all amped up. So this spot that we're at right now is actually brackish water. And we saw a lot of big bass in here too. Just like that, Connor. Connor, I got slammed. I think it's a big one, dude. I can't tell. Oh, it's a good one, dude. Oh my gosh. Dude, literally first cast, bro. It's like a two pounder. I thought he was bigger. <laughs> Let's go, man. Look how skinny and long that fish is. He's like not fat, but man, he destroyed that. We haven't got many top water bites, but the two top water bites that we got were just sick. Got that little uh, whopper plopper hanging out of his mouth. That is an awesome eat right there, guys. Heck yeah, good little two pounder. He's long as can be. We saw some flounder in here the other day, like yesterday, actually. We saw flounder, we saw ladyfish, we saw sheep's head, and there's literally bass in here with them. And look how long that fish is, Connor, look. Yeah, he's really long. <laughs> he's as tall as you, dude. He's big, he's <laughs> bigger than me. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, oh! Dude, he hammered it. Oh my gosh, this is sick. I might be catching the little Twinkies, but you know what? They're still fun to catch, man. <laughs> that jerk is sick. I, I gotta throw this top water a little more, bro. Like, I gotta try it just a little bit longer. We'll say the top water is catching the, definitely bigger getting size. some bigger ones. Yeah, for sure. I don't know, that one you caught on that jerk bait after mine, I think was bigger. I will say the cool part about this little cove too is you got all this wind blowing in here, bro. Connor, oh. Dude, there, there was a lot of good, like, bass about that size right there in that corner. I thought he was about to hit me. There we go, buddy. Absolutely smoked the jerk bait. Oh gosh, he, he they're like, chasing it, aren't they? Bro, I saw them just turn on it, like yeah, I'm just. Gonna go, I'm gonna put him over here. Yeah, throw him on that side. All right, I'm just putting this guy back in over here, so we can kind of keep the tranquility on this side of the little canal. You could probably catch some more right there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk down and kind of fan cast, bro. I don't know if a saltwater fish would eat this topwater, but if we caught a saltwater fish, you know, this is a multi-species video, guys. We've only caught some bluegill and bass, so now we're trying to get a little creative with it. There's so many different saltwater species in here, though. Like, we've seen them the last two days, so they're in here. There's a giant flounder, a pretty big sheep's head. The ladyfish were massive. And then there's a bunch of big bass, which is just crazy to know that they're all mixed in here. Like, that's just sick. The ultimate multi-species spot. Well, we uh, ran the life of that jerk bait a little short there, but we are gonna tie back on this little Strike King crankbait. I think this one will be a good option. I, I'm kind of bummed out though about that jerk bait. That thing had the best action. I don't know how the bill got broke off. I honestly think I might have like hit it on the rocks when I was trying to get that fish up, but that's all right. We got a lot more micro baits and a lot more fish to catch. I'm surprised we haven't got hit in this canal, guys. I'm just fan casting. The super is ultra shallow. I'm talking deepest points, probably three max, maybe two foot, but it's so clear. Water's gym clear in here. Hoping we just have a different species come up and swipe at this thing. I just don't, I don't know. And usually I can see all the fish swimming around, but it just got really cloudy. It's kind of overcast right now. It was sunny, then it was overcast, then it was sunny, then it was overcast. It's been a weird day right here i kind of want to come off on this point because this just opens up here there should be some fish right here man this is a money spot 
right here at the mouth. You got this little creek. Oh, he just missed me. That's a different species. It's gotta be, dude. Oh my gosh. What do we got? What do we got? A giant bluegill. Oh my gosh, Connor. Dude, that is actually my top three biggest bluegill. By far a top three bluegill. I mean, that is ridiculous. Look at that whopper plopper hanging out of his face. I knew it was a different species, but we've already caught one. I mean, look at the, I don't even know what you call that. Those little gill, gill flaps. Look at how large those little black flaps are on that bluegill. That is just so pretty. To compare, I mean, it, it's ridiculous how big the bluegill we caught today. You know, I've, I'm used to catching bluegill just on like a worm and a bobber. I guess putting on a lure is a whole different ball game and it's actually a lot of fun. Those are brutes. Thank you, baby. That's a pancake, man. I knew it was something different. I knew it wasn't a bass, just the way it was coming off. It missed it the first time. Right out here on this point, guys, makes sense. Let's see what else there is. See if we can get another species, man. Kind of lack it on the species. We, we've had a lot of fun and, and we've caught so many fish. It's just, I haven't really had these different fish bite. Which honestly, fishing the freshwater ponds, there wasn't much more we could really catch that I know of that would eat a artifact, that would eat a lure. But in here, there's a lot of options. Dude, let's go. Uh oh, this is something different too. And it feels large. 100% not a bass. <gasps> yeah, it is a bass and it's a freaking nice one. No way. No way, man. Let's go. Look at that thing. He, he ain't even that big. He's like two pounds. Nice fish though. Gosh, man, he destroyed that thing. Right out here. Look at how he ate that thing. Right out here in the mouth. Of this little canal just money my gosh Noah's was just out here steamrolling them things steamrolling top water they weren't eating top water now it's getting later in the day man to get a little fired up for it i had another spot in mind after this one guys but we might just stick it out here because we have a chance of catching some other species these hooks are so sticky dude these hooks <laughs> are so crazy that's a pretty fish finally i can release a fish connor at the water i feel like we've been standing above the water all day i've been having to throw them back Thank you, baby. There she goes. Yeah, dude, right at this little mouth. Look at that. So that counts another species? <laughs> it's a little like clam, dude. It's a baby clam. I didn't think that that was a bass, dude. I thought I, it felt different on my rod, but it ended up being a bass. Wait, you, wait, 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 wait. You had a brem eat that? Oh yeah, massive. You should have saw the little black flaps on his gills, dude. That thing wasn't even a brem, bro, it was a shark. Yeah, keep throwing out here, like just fan casting the mouth of this. I think there's a good bit of fish. Just like that. That was a bluegill, Connor. I'm telling you, you're gonna get slammed by a massive bluegill. You've never seen something so big in your life. I can't believe a bluegill is eating a plopper like that. You learn something when you microfish, don't you? That's crazy. That's, that's how I felt the first time I went, man. I was like, I cannot believe bluegill eat like that. Oh, look behind me. What is that? What was that, bro? That was a different species, Connor. That wasn't a bass. That almost looked like a sheep's head, bro. Did you see the colors on that? Oh, Connor! Dude, that was something different. I don't know what that was, but the wake was insane. That wasn't a bass, dude. I'm telling you. I'm getting some other species to hit this thing. Watch this. Let's see if he eats it. Dude, he came all the way off. He was all the way up on that bank. Dude, it's like they, they, what is it? I don't know. It's not a bass though, not at all. There's these giant like um, weird looking white fish in here, not mullet, but there's something else. Oh, it might be tilapia. They won't eat this though, I doubt it. I've caught them on bass lures, but not like top water. All right, boys, we about to throw this top water under this bridge. Let's see what we got. Connor. Oh my gosh, I watched him eat it. I watched him tail behind it, dude. That was insane. I watched him come up, Connor, and go like this and oh. Look at the moment they're having an Olympics competition. Oh my gosh. Look at how he ate this bait, bro. Oh, that's a good one. That's a skinny, another one of the skinny long bass. Wow. 
I mean, look at how long and skinny that fish is. He just came up behind it. I don't know if you guys could see that on the camera. Probably couldn't. But I don't even have glasses on it. I could see that fish just swarm behind it. He was all about this plop. All right. It was a gut feeling to stop here. I guess that was a good call. Another good fish. That thing is ridiculously long. Thank you, brother. 